اسمي هبه من امريكا من مدينه شيكاغو درست لغه عربيه لمدتي أربعة سنوات تقريبا يعني أونلاين ثم قررت أن أدرس اللغة العربية هنا لأن البرنامج إمرسيف والقوي الحمد لله أكملت دراستي اليوم النهاردة So I decided to study Arabic mainly for personal reasons, يعني to uh, expand my understanding of the Quran. That's why I'm, I'm focusing on Fusha and I wanted to learn Fusha here. I had the option to also learn Amiya, which, uh, you know, uh, Masriya, and I was very interested in that as well. And Alhamdulillah, being in the environment here, you'll pick it up. In the future, would like to be talking with my future kids, hopefully in Arabic fluently, which is why mainly I chose this program. I wanted an immersive one, one where I could practice with my teachers, practice with the students, live uh, in the culture, and actually uh, learn that way. And I googled, Google searched uh, which program to come to, and this one was honestly on the top of the list for all the qualifications. Everything was very clear when I communicated with the administration on uh, what is the program going to be. Um, I had a great interview uh, in the beginning to see my level of Arabic, and I found that, that I would really advance greatly here. I felt I was tested in all avenues with Nahu and Grammar and I knew that this is where I wanted to be, that I would be able to study the language holistically and practice it in this environment. Um, I felt I was put into uh, different situations in order to test my knowledge in different ways. So the one that stood out to me was presentations. So each week, maybe once or twice, I was uh, pushed to give a presentation. I would study the night before, come up with my content, um, come the next day with pictures, with uh, with how I'm going to use my the new vocabulary that I used in class uh, to apply to, to that. And I felt that that was the most practical way to apply it. And I get direct feedback right after that. So not only am I sitting as a student, learning directly from the teacher, learning about grammar, learning about Nahu, uh, reading text, listening to text, um, but I'm also speaking actively um, in those presentations and that really benefited me greatly. My level of Arabic was was good as far as the reading and I could type with a keyboard you know before coming to class but I didn't know uh, many mufradat, many vocabularies. So this course enabled me to feel more confident with my language whereas before uh, I mean you could ask my teachers in the beginning I was stumbling through the words and not making complete sentences but now I feel like I can breathe take a deep breath, think about the words that are in my head and then speak and not rush into speaking and conjugating incorrectly. So I still have a long way to go, but I felt by the end of it, especially with the presentations I had to do each week, that um, my Arabic has uh, improved. My teacher number one teachers, I had a couple of experiences and all of them spoke to my mind and way of thinking because we're coming uh, from, you know, we're a non-native speaker, so we learn a little bit differently, right? Um, we're new to the language. So uh, they really engaged me in the class by not just saying, okay, here's page, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna read from the textbook and just go through the textbook. No, they were carefully selected activities um, that the teacher kept in mind while we're learning. Uh, she noticed the difficulties I might have had, we'd take a break, discuss what that might be, um, what I'm having trouble with, and then we'd ret return back to the activity. So I felt it wasn't dry at all, and I was very engaged in class. And not only that, um, uh, the teachers piqued my interest. We didn't just open the page, no. She would introduce, say, what do you think about this topic? Do you know these words? And kind of test you and pull your brain a little bit before we dive into the heavy coursework. I got enough Arabic in the class, but if I stumbled, then they would supplement with English when I needed it. And they speak your level Yani. So I'm MSA level three. So I could understand a good amount of Arabic. And so she would use more Arabic in the class um, for me to understand, but of course I, my Mufradat list is very short. So when I started to stop understanding, she would check with me. She's like, did you understand what I just said? I'm like, no, do you mind saying that again? And she would happily repeat it for me until I understood. So living in Cairo is a whole unique experience for me. It's my first time being here. And um, that was a big part of the experience. We're in downtown Do'i. So we're in the center of it all in downtown Cairo. And uh, you go outside and, and you see sellers and buyers and you go out for lunch and you talk to people. And the intermingling is, is really what's gonna help you here. But you also uh, can't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone to talk to people um, and say salam, you know, on, on the street or go to Alpha Market next door, go shopping and actually talk with the person at the register. So if you stay to yourself, 
which you can easily do. You can walk and not see or talk to anyone, but the area, everything's so close by. So take the opportunity to go and, and talk and, and take advantage of that.